Options. Options are financial derivatives. Derivatives meaning they derive their value from something else, like an underlying stock. Options are the Japanese blowfish of investing. A delicacy if you know what you're doing, and deadly if you don't. Like all tools, they can be used conservatively to preserve value or hedge a portfolio against losses, or on the flip side, to speculate and potentially send you to the poorhouse. Keep in mind that the big players in options are some of the smartest people in the business with extremely powerful pricing models and simulations backing them up. Please don't try to beat them at their own game. However, here's how a beginner could use options intelligently in the current market environment. Now, there are two types of options available, puts and calls. If you were to buy a call, you're making a bet that the price of something will increase. It kind of looks like a hockey stick. If you were buying a put, you're making a bet that the price of something will decrease. For the right to an option, you got to pay a price. It's called a premium. And like all markets, if you're buying something, someone else has to be willing to sell it to you. So if someone is selling you a call, they're betting on the price decreasing. And if someone is selling you a put, they're betting on the the price increasing. It's all connected. Now, let's say you own some stock in Big Bubble Co. priced at 100 bucks a share. This is a fake company, of course. And you're worried about a big price decrease if the Federal Reserve raises interest rates higher than expected. You could hedge your investment in Big Bubble Co. by buying some $90 puts. If the Fed hikes big and the stock price drops below 90, you'll make up for the price decrease in the stock by the value of the puts increasing. 90 bucks is called the strike price, by the way. And bingo, you didn't lose any money besides the money you spent to buy the puts. It's kind of like buying an insurance policy before hurricane season. And just like an insurance policy, there's an expiration date on an option. So you wanna make sure you buy puts that don't expire before the big event that you're trying to protect against. Look, options are particularly complicated due to the many factors that go into their pricing, so they're not for everyone. But viewing them as strictly hedging tools is a very good start to understanding derivatives. Fall for more beginner investing modules just like this one.